Hey, welcome everybody. You're tuning in to uh, DraftingTutorials.com. My name is Casey Kepley, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to be covering the M2P command. This is the mid two point command. And basically, what I'm going to show you here is I've got a window uh, that I want to place along this line right here, and I want to center it. But I don't want to do the math on this, and I don't want to do any measuring. Uh, so, in order to do that, I'm going to select the components of this window. I'm going to go over here to the move command, type in, click on move, and it's going to specify, it has to specify base point. So instead of typing in a distance, I'm just going to type in M2P, enter. Now it's going to ask for uh, first point, the first point of the mid, as you're seeing here in the command. So I'll just uh, left click on that. And then it's going to ask for a second point. So now I can move it around. Uh, but it's actually, if you if you look at it, it's already centering it for me. So now all I have to do is left click. And that is done. I'm going to go ahead and undo it. And I'll show you one more time how I did that. So I'll click on the objects I want to move, which would be the window seal. Click move. It's going to say specify base point, type in M2P, enter. It's going to ask for the first point, left click on the first point, and then left click on the second point, and then left click again. And it has moved my window um, and centered it for me along this line without ever having to measure uh, any distance or do any math on it. Uh, that is the mid two point command or M2P. Um, you're tuning in to DraftingTutorials.com. That's all I have for today's video. If you like this, go ahead and hit the like button and share it with others. Uh, you can also subscribe to the channel. Um, shooting other videos that are reverse engineering, um, you know, the application programs like AutoCAD, Revit, and Inventor. So stay tuned because I'll have some more videos for you guys in the future here. Uh, until then, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you.